Hey, 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 welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I am Nate. Today's episode is a post-fight episode for UFC 159. Wow, there are some exciting fights on this card. But the main event was fairly predictable. As I told you all in the last, in the last episode. So let's go down the main card. The main event was for the UFC light heavyweight title, John Jones versus Chell Sonnen. John Jones trying to defend his belt for the fifth time, which was easy. He defeated Chell Sonnen in the first round, immediately got the takedown, pounded him out. Chell Sonnen got out. Jones got another takedown, pounded out. Boom, the end. About four and just over four and a half minutes or so. It was all over, and John Jones did it with a broken toe. I mean, that just goes to show you how much better John Jones of a fighter is than Charles Sonnen. And I'm telling you all right now, if a super fight ever happened with Anderson Silva and John Jones, John Jones would easily walk through Anderson Silva. And I will be so thankful to John Jones for that, if that ever were ever to happen. Chow Sonnen, though, I'm a big Chow Sonnen fan. Of course, I was hoping he would win, but hey, you know what? I also hope I would win the lottery, but I don't expect that to happen. Okay, then the co-main event was Michael Bisping versus Alan Belcher, middleweight fight. This was, what did I tell you, the last episode. Michael Bisping, Alan Belcher, they're very much alike in so many ways. Alan Belcher has a ground game, but he's not the biggest fan of using it all the time. Michael Bisping, same thing. He has a ground game, not the biggest fan of using it. If it were a pure grappling match, Alan Belcher would probably win. But I knew they would keep it standing. They love to stand and bang, throw combinations. Michael Bisping outpointed Alan Belcher each of the three rounds until the till end of the third round. There is that eye poke, accidental eye poke. Uh, unfortunately for Alan Belcher, Michael Bisping, we all know, didn't mean it. And then I went to a judge's scorecard, technical decision win, unanimous for Michael Bisping. Michael Bisping was ranked number four, I believe, in the middleweight rankings. So I say give Michael Bisping a number one contenders match in his next match. Wins that, give him a title shot. He's deserved it. He's been in the UFC long enough. Again, I've met the guy. Nice guy. Happy that he won. But also, I met Alan Belcher, and I wish him the best. I wish him a speedy recovery. Hopefully, his eye is okay. I guess he got stitches in his eyelid. Ouch. Then we had Roy Nelson versus Chuck Congo, heavyweight bout. What did I tell you? What did I tell you in the last episode? Roy Nelson won by first round knockout. KO punch first round. Roy Nelson now has three fights in a row where he won in the first round by knockout. Again with Roy Nelson, I say put him in number one contenders match. He wins that. Have him fight for the heavyweight title. I'm also a big Czech Congo fan though too, so it's it's like to see Czech Congo lose, but I knew Roy Nelson would win this, especially if it went to the ground. Czech, Czech Congo's ground game is nowhere near on par as Roy Nelson, but it was a fun, exciting first round knockout type of fight. Big fan of both of those guys, heavyweight division, my favorite weight class. What can I say? Roy Nelson has Heavy hands at heavy overhand right. Then we have Phil Davis versus Vinny Megalates. Light heavyweight fight on the main card. Phil Davis, his striking got so much better. He just teed off on Vinny. Vinny rarely went for takedowns. Couldn't get it. It looked like he was about ready to get into a grappling war with Phil Davis in the middle of the match. Just couldn't get it. Phil Davis has great takedown defense, great submission defense. His wrestling obviously is way better than Vinny Megalates. 
and it stayed standing 98% of the fight. And Vinny's striking just, I don't know if it's his confidence, his, his ability, or what, but he doesn't have any answer for Phil Davis' stand-up. Phil Davis was smart. He threw combinations and kept moving. Didn't stay in the pocket for a takedown. Good job, Phil Davis. Phil Davis was ranked number eight in the light heavyweight division before this match, so he moves up the ladder. I say a couple more fights. We'll see him fight for the belt, assuming he wins those couple more fights. Then, to kick off the main card, we had Jim Miller versus Pat Healy in a lightweight fight. Now this one, okay, you got me. You got me. I thought for sure Jim Miller was going to win this. It was going back and forth, though. It could have gone either way. Here and there, here and there, here and there. Pat Healy, though, got a rear naked choke in round three. Yeah, don't underestimate Pat Healy. Pat Healy, he was going to fight for the Strike Force lightweight title against Gilbert El Nino Melendez before that match got canceled and then Strike Force folded and all the Strike Force roster went to uh, UFC. So, Pat Healy, congratulations. You're now in the top. You should be in the top five if you're not already in the UFC lightweight division. I, Jim Miller is ranked number four in the lightweight division. So him beating the number four guy, the UFC would have to be nuts not to rank him in the top five lightweights in the UFC. Pat Healy, good job. I'm a fan of both. Yeah, that, that rear naked choke in round three, just it was good grappling skills. Jim Miller is hard to finish. He's a veteran in the UFC. Jim Miller's fought the toughest guys. Pat Healy's fought tough guys in Strike Force, but he's Pat Healy's proved himself now in the UFC for sure. In an honor roll mention on the prelims, my boy Cody McKenzie won a unanimous decision win over Leonard Garcia. That was shocking to see Cody McKenzie do good on the stand-up against Leonard Garcia. People always know him for a submission guy. So good job, Cody McKenzie. You saved your job in the UFC. And that pretty much wraps up the post-fight for UFC 159. Stay tuned. The next episode will be a pre-fight for UFC on FX, Vitor Belfort versus Luke Rockhold. That should be a good fight. I haven't yet picked a winner for that one. I would have to really think that through, figure that one out. That one is in a few weeks. So hopefully in the next week and a half or so, have a new episode for you then. Until then, see ya.